Dion Branch. Dion Branch. And he is here for. We, we come down to spend time to uh, appreciate and, and give thanks to the volunteers for the uh, Volunteerism Week. These gentlemen are here today to share with you a little bit about mentoring. But not only do they work hard on the football field, but they do as much giving back to the community and working off the football field as well. As you can tell by taking time on, on their day off to come and be here as a part of your program today. Like that. What is it like to be a professional football player? It's tough. You know, you got big old 300 pound guys trying to take you down every day. But uh, no, it's, it's fun and it's, uh, it's a lifelong dream. Um, something that I've been working for my whole life and uh, you know, I enjoy it. So what's your favorite memory of being in fifth and sixth grade? Oh, such a long time ago. Um, in fifth and sixth grade, I had a student teacher who used to, uh, who was really my mentor and tutor in fifth grade. You know, she used to come to my house after uh, after school and teach me uh, English and math. What about you? Uh, fifth or sixth grade. Ooh, yeah, that was a long time ago. Give me another question. You know? <laughs> Uh, what's your funnest Patriot memory? Uh, probably when being part of the Super Bowl and winning. Uh, I think that's one of the biggest reasons we play the game, you know, to, to win the Super Bowl. And we had the opportunity to do that twice. They've done it three times, but uh, I, I've had the opportunity to be a part of it twice. <laughs> Well, people don't know, huh? It's uh, it's really fun. A lot of people think it's you know it's just very serious all the time. You know, we we like to joke around, have fun out there, and uh, you know that's what a lot of people don't think that maybe. So, do you have any types of rituals that you like to do before the game? Um, I I, I typically like to just get there early to make sure I'm not. I don't like being rushed, so I like to get there early to make sure I get everything done. And my meal, I like uh, spaghetti and grilled chicken before the game, so. And sometimes chicken nuggets from McDonald's, so that's my reason. <laughs> yes, good protein. Though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you gotta close this out. Well, thank you very much for being here. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Oh, no problem. There you go. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. Last week on the Kiwis. Mrs. Texera, we need Mr. O in the team room quick. Big Daddy is missing. Okay, you two go to the computer lab. Talk to Simon. Isaac, come with me. We'll go to check out Melanie. And now. 
Melanie? me just like I hoped. Really got your heart rates up. Enough of the science experiment, Melanie. What were you doing in the band room? In the band room? I was practicing my oboe, of course. All right, that seems plausible. So, Melanie, Big Daddy's been stolen. What were you doing last night? L last night? That was Tuesday. I was at the science club meeting. All right, Melanie. Thanks for the help. Simon Sylvester. Yeah, what can I do for you? Can we ask you a few questions? Sure, ask away. We have a situation with a missing TV set. That looks like that one on your computer screen. Oh, that one? That's just a Plasma 720. I'm researching it for a project. What? What kind of? Um, well, I was just comparing LCDs to plasmas. What's this all about anyway? Well, Big Daddy's gone missing. Do you have any idea who might have done this? No idea. I'm just doing my science project. All right. Thanks for your help. If you do anything, let us know. Guys, what'd you find out? We saw Simon. There's not much evidence there. Claims he's working on a project about TVs. We saw Melanie. She took us on a chase. She ran pretty fast, even though she had a broken foot. Well, did she tell you anything? Yeah, she did actually. She said that she was at a science club meeting last night. Yeah, and she plays the oboe in the band. Do they have an oboe in the band? I don't know. Well, if she was at a science club meeting last night, could she have stolen Big Daddy? Who's in charge of the science club? I think it's Mr. O. O? O? O. Yes, O. O! I think we need to pay O a little visit. Mr. O, can we have a word with you? Kiwis, what do you want? Mr. O, are you in charge of the science club? Yeah, I'm in charge of the science club. So, was there a science club meeting last night? Yeah, there's a science club meeting every Tuesday, but I wasn't there last night. Oh, you weren't? Who else is in the science club? Well, there's Sammy, Simon, Sarah, Melanie. Just those four and me. So if you weren't at the science club meeting last night, where were you? I was out buying a present for my wife. If you have to know, tomorrow's our anniversary. Thanks, so. We'll be back. This is getting serious. Oh, stuff, they're all in the science club. Do you think all five of them could be part of this big daddy thing? It does seem suspicious. Sammy, Simon, and Sarah, they're all working on projects about big TVs. Let's go pay the members of the science club a visit. All right, you three, we need to ask you some questions. What do you want? We told you we don't know anything about Big Daddy. Were all of you at the science club meeting last night? Yeah, we go to science club meetings every Tuesday night. Hey, where's Melanie? Was she at the science club meeting last night? We don't know where she is. Yeah, she was at the meeting last night to find out about the plans to meet here today. So Melanie wasn't at the science club meeting last night. And neither was O. Can we keep taking apart our monitor now? It's either Melanie or O. Could they be working on this together? 